Hi, New Path ED viewers. Today we are going to see how to add the validation to the text box. Create one new web form in a dot ASPX format. In ASPX.net, there is an option called ASPX semicolon text box. This tag is used to add the text box in the ASPX web form. Everyone know I think about the Runnet server. Once again, I will tell you, Runnet server is used to declare the value used to to send the client side value to the server side. Just like creating some table rows for to add this text box to the table because if you add into the table it look a little bit nice to see also I just given the name as name and one more column as something like marks. I just adding one text box here because for minimum we need some two text box to given this validation of operation. So I am adding some example column called names and marks to add the text boxes. Then I'm going to add one image button or something called we can add initially this normal button also. The button will conduct this validation operation. It means like if you are this is a post back option, if you click on the button it will validate these two text boxes. Let me see how it's working. Okay. I given the text as submit because it's just look if you given an empty value it won't display anything so I given some example options here we going to use the record field validation. The record field validation is 
sorry initial that first option we going to see is record field evaluator this record field what function what is this is if if you not entered any value in this text box it shows or it throws the error here the function of record field evaluator is only it, if the text box is empty it throws the error let's see how it works I just adding two more columns near to this text box to place this record field evaluator. The tag which is predefined in the ASP.NET is ASP. Sorry, semicolon record field evaluator. The ID you can give whatever the ID you want, but the ID which is given for the record fielder would not be same. Actually, one more option: the easy way you can add this record fielder validator through this toolbox options. Go to the validation, maximize this. and just drag and drop here it will add it this is very easy method to add but this is not a correct way you going to add every time if you use this tag by manually then you can learn more then here i am adding where to control that is called the tag control to validate 